What up, what up, what up? Pan dudes, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, and this uh, silver aluminum case here is a poker chip set that I just bought. It's by, by trademark, it's 500 pieces, 11 and a half gram set. I actually don't even know what the 11 and a half grams represents, but here it is. Now, uh, I bought this, I was reading some reviews, me and some of my buddies have been uh, kind of playing poker, and you know, when I have them over now, I thought it'd be nice to have an actual poker set. So I thought I'd just show you what you get in this. Now, one of the things that I read in some of the comments is that the case itself may vary, even though you're ordering it from the same listing. So I don't know that uh, this is exactly what you'll get, but I think from a components perspective, it's gonna be very, very similar. It's actually a pretty nice case, you know? I'm actually pretty impressed with just this. Uh, you know, it's not super durable or, you know, it's not super heavy or thick, but it's just pretty nice and uh, foam lined here, obviously. the There are chips, these are a little dusty in here, um, that are wrapped like, oh, it's kind of tough to get things out. There we go. Uh, that are wrapped in plastic. And as you can see here, I've got four rolls of red, three rolls of white, two a green and one a black. Now that's kind of something else that some people have mentioned is that they would have liked more black chips. I don't know that that's important to me and the way me and my friends play, we don't usually go that route. But the cool thing is here, you can see, you know, the chips aren't marked. So depending on what your buy-in is, well, you can make them up to be anything you want. Say from a nickel or a penny to a thousand bucks. Uh, you know, and here's what the chips look like. They're painted in kind of the style of a of a casino chip. And we'll see if we can get one out here and take a look at it. I think these are all like a plastic polycarbonate or, you know, some sort of, oh, you know, synthetic type of material. But they have pretty good weight to them, and as you can see, they're pretty well made. I don't see the molding marks specifically, but they have little dye on the outside. And if you wanted to have your own uh, stickers made up for the Panda Casino or something, I'm sure you could do that, but I don't know why. Uh, pretty nice size and weight. Feels very much like a clay chip that I'd be used to in a casino. Uh, we can go ahead and actually weigh this little bad boy and see what it weighs. The scale out here and the chip. And it's 0.38 ounces. And I'm guessing actually that is 11 and a half grams. So right there it says 11 grams. My guess is it's actually 11 and a half. And so that's what it refers to. So my guess is that 11 and a half grams for a chip is kind of the typical weight. Oh, and that's great. Now there are also some chips in here. For some tags really for obviously the big blind if that's how you play small blind and dealer so you have those tags and then you also have two sets of playing cards they're not bicycle cards they're cheap because the whole set is pretty cheap and then actually you even have a pair of keys for locking this little bad boy up i don't know why you need to lock up fake currency but it is what it is. So anyway, pretty nice little set overall. I'm pretty excited about having my buddies come over now and play poker and we won't have to do it with like matchsticks and pennies. Check it out. The whole set here was remarkably inexpensive. 30-ish dollars, $35. So overall pretty happy with it. And once I start winning money, I can pay it off. Peter Von Panda, out.